I think we're good to start recording. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Hello, welcome. I, I just got through the door. I have a bunch of videos for you guys. I just haven't had time to put them together yet. So uh, lots of videos coming your way. All right, we're here. We're waiting on the 2024 uh, snow checks to come up from Polaris here. Um, we are three minutes away from starting here. Before we start out, let's go to the comments. Um, this is one cool thing about social media and stuff today is that uh, companies get instant feedback. So what's some of the things that have been happening to um, like the 9Rs, for example? Uh, clutches seem to be a thing. Uh, P22 drive clutches uh, literally just blowing in two. Um, that seems to be a problem with the 9Rs as well as having to carry a 12-pack uh, of spark plugs on your tunnel. We are just waiting for these guys to start us off. Framing looks good. Everything looks good. Let's take a moment. So welcome to the fun review videos. I don't know even what to call these videos anymore. Um, but you've, you've come to the right place. If you want to make it fun and you don't want to watch a robot uh, introduce the, no, the, the, the new snowmobiles. If you want a guy like me messing up every word, um, you got it. So what do we got today? Um, I took you guys' suggestions. We have, don't even need a corkscrew. I brought this little guy over. Don't even need him. Uh, we have a, uh, we're drinking wine. A Savon Blanc. Yeah, it's a Polaris video. So, uh, you know, we, we want to be classy here. We be representing the Polaris boys here on this channel. No doubt about it. It is now 4.15 local for me. And let's wait on the live feed here or whatever these guys decide to do yeah that's right pour yourself a nice cup of sauvignon blanc it's time for another sixes backcountry video ah uh, yes the series that just won't die that's a lot um we're mainly going to be covering the uh the mountain segment here because that's mainly what we do here on the channel. So we're looking after mountain stuff. And I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Because I am now seeing that the snow check is now live, like they said. But is there going to be anything else? Mm, nothing on their YouTube. Is this gonna be a video of us sitting here and drinking wine? What am I what am I missing here? Okay, so Polaris just flooded us with videos here. Okay, here we go. Finally, this is what we want. My this name is, is Nelson. I'm a Eleven and a half minutes. Okay, this is the one we want to watch after we're gonna talk about what's new for twenty-four on the best deep snow sleds in the industry. I have a feeling I'm gonna be skipping ahead here just to get by what is basically an an ad and not uh a new uh, technology we're using. It lift and pick itself up out of the snow. That way you can get moving forward. You don't want the track to sit and spin and, and trench through the snow. It has to lift itself right up on top. And that's what every single Polaris does. They're lightweight, the proprietary rear suspension design, drivetrain angle, all of our exclusive tracks, they generate lift up out of the snow. The magic really happens here at the rear of the snowmobile. So the Matrix Slash features a shortened version of the tapered tunnel that all of our Matrix platform sleds okay, have. Okay, we're going to skip ahead a little bit here because we're talking about the Matrix and the Matrix Slash, which is stuff from last year regarding the uh, how the tunnel is configured. So we're going to skip ahead. We're, we're going to skip over a lot of this stuff here too a lot of this stuff isn't new we're talking about the 9r which we had last year we're talking about uh the 850 which we had last year and as well as the 850 boost that we had last year so we're not seeing any real big engine changes or uh anything like that uh just kind of not really surprising this is kind of what i expected to see is just uh, some accessories and uh of course some color changes every year you do those two simple things, you'll get to experience so the So we have a... Hold on, stop the video. Hold on, stop. So what he's just said there was that we actually have like a setting on the computer on the snowmobile that we can um, actually set to maintain our track for us. So if we're going too fast or whatever, uh, it sounds like we can just simply use the computer to tell us to slow down. Let's listen to that part again. 
To maintain the durability of the track, you gotta do two simple things when you're riding it. The first is scratchers down on the trail. For 2024, we've got new reversible scratchers standard on all of our RMKs. They're a single coil reversible design, so you can back over them, way more durability, and they throw way more snow into the skid. What that delivers is better track cooling, which is key for 325 durability, and better engine cooling to keep your engine temps in check when you're on the trail. The second is keeping it under 50 miles an hour on the trail. So for 325 sleds, there will be a 50 mile an hour speed warning on both the Message Center and 7S display, letting you know that you're going too fast and you're putting the durability of the track at risk. You do those two simple things, you'll get a so this has been a problem with dew tracks over the last few years is they've been getting hot on the trail and then uh, actually blowing apart. So uh, now uh, a new thing, maintain your track. And all our RMKs for 2024 will come with our new high retraction brake system. So two new pieces that are key here for the, the brake system for 2024. The first is a new brake rotor. So it's a little bit lighter, has some more venting in it, and it's all about maintaining durability under heavy use. The second piece is a high retraction caliper. So what that means is when the brake lever is all the way out, it's going to spread the caliper further apart than it did before. What that means for the, you as the rider is as is you that pull your sled that will not catch on fire. In, you're gonna have more travel before you really engage the pads. New level of instant lift and forward drive with our 325 Series 9 track. Hassle-free experience with our new scratchers on all our RMKs. Lots to be excited about. We can't wait for you guys to get out and ride them. Beautiful. Okay, so we have covered the mountain segment now officially. So uh, the main thing we're looking at this year is really looking like uh, just colors and a new track option, uh, which they're already giving me warnings about, which um, is strange. Let's go snow check. Okay, if we were to order a sled here, let's, uh, let's check out what it might be. Um, I said in one of the recent update videos is I'm very um, transient in my snowmobiles. Like, basically, that means I don't care. I like what I like for only a short amount of time, and then I, I like something different. So uh, I've been rocking Articat for a while, but hey, who knows, huh? Start with RMK, of course. Um, so if I were to build a sled, what would it be? Hold on here before we get started. If it were for me, I'd... I'd probably go with a Chaos Slash for the type of riding I do. Let's see if we can break the site. Of course, we'd go with our Patriot Boost here. I think I'd go with the Boost for sure. Um, I'd really like to... We'll, we'll go into this in a sec here. I'm kind of a little confused about this track here. Um, so are they saying 3.25 pitch? Or 3.25 lug? 3.25 lug. Okay, they are saying that. So we've uh, we've gone up uh, another track size. So from the factory, 3-inch lug has been all that we could get for quite a few years now. But now we're seeing a 3.25 coming out of the factory in a 3.5 pitch, which is the same pitch as the track that Articat uses on their alphas. That's so much lug. I don't know if I'd do one of those. Generally, a lot of the riding that we do is in various types of snow forms. So, honestly, the 3.25 probably isn't the one for me. I'd probably go with the 155 2.75 series for this guy. And, uh, hey, we get to check out our, uh, our colors now. Check it out. Let's see if we can break the bank. No matter what, I always get the really weird colors. I can't help it. What is this? Military tan, nah. Oh no. Oh no. Color options suck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I even like the weird stuff and I don't like it. All right. That's the one we're getting. We're gonna give it a nice, beautiful tunnel. Um, we'll give it some rails of some kind. Oh, this is this is this is coming together. I like this build menu much better than uh, Skidoo's we did a few weeks back. I don't want any of these shocks. I can just see what things have done on the trail. You can call me crazy, but I actually like a decent eight handlebar. 
7S display. Is that the big one? Yep. Okay. And here is what we got. Oh, this is so many options. So here we go. Just for what I built here. Right here. 20, 26 grand. Holy. Just for that? 26 and a half grand just for that. Plus your shipping, plus your PDI fees, plus whatever the dealer decides to tack on. Holy. I remember actually for the 2020s, uh, for like a premium alpha, the best you could get it off like the showroom floor as like a snow check was 14.5. I know that because I almost bought one. Uh, you could get one for as lo like low as 12.5. Now at this, we're at 26.485. What can we build that's cheap? I'm just going to try to build a cheap one real quick. Oh, really? For a 650 Pro RMK 155, the cheapest I could make it with the 650 Patriot engine was 16708. Wow. Things are expensive, boys. Not my wine, though. Oh, man. The only one I ever get wine drunk with is Benjamin. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's talk about this really quick. So basically what I saw was they're guaranteeing your snow check to ship by the end of November there. And if you don't get it, they're going to give you 1500 bucks. That's what uh, I saw a little earlier. Uh, hopefully this is the last year of it is that basically everything that you can even get for a snowmobile has been pre-order. And all the manufacturers have been having problems um, honoring all those pre-orders in a timely manner. And that's been a problem since 2018, 2019-ish. Uh, that's, well, that's when the problem started to get really bad. So hopefully this is the last year of that. Uh, hopefully they're going to stay true to that. Uh, and they can get everything they need to get the customers their sleds. Uh, I know it's been a problem. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Um, it was a little cryptic there in the video. I was, tr I was trying to figure out what they meant by 3.25. Because... Um, Sometimes it's uh, a little deceiving. So it is a 3.25 tall lug. So that is for some deep snow. Yeah, you definitely get a lot of uh, lift out of that. And they're using that 3.5 pitch, which seems to be kind of a golden area for that uh, large lug track. That's what Kat's using. So a worry there. Uh, dew is already blowing. There are three inch tracks on the trail due to heat buildup uh, and uh, speed as well. So what they're doing here is they're already telling you like, hey, you have to keep this track cool like this. It's going to be a problem otherwise. OK, so exactly what do we expect to see Polaris as far as I'm concerned? Uh, a little bit of upgrades, some small stuff, some new options, uh, new colors, of course, which is a thing every year. So nothing to be impressed with there. Yeah, if the 9R can uh, stay together as an engine, um, as far as foul and plugs, uh, I've heard of 850s blowing. Um, I've heard of those nine hours just blowing clutches off, like just, yeah. So what I expected to see from Polaris this year, uh, who's thinking about ordering one who wants a brand new boost or nine R in their garage next year. Um, let me know what you guys think about the release. If they've done enough, if they're not, not enough, I think they've done enough considering we've had a lot of stuff, uh, from Polaris come down the pipe the last few years. All right, I'm going to try to edit this video now. Hopefully, you came and you learned something here today uh, and you had a little bit of fun doing it. I really struggle with these videos to even give them a name because, like, honestly, I, I just do them for fun. I get to communicate with you guys as a community a little bit, see what you guys are thinking, uh, and we just get to have a fun time with it. So, uh, thanks, everybody, for watching today's video. I got I got footage for you guys I got to put together, which I'll be doing over the next few days here. We are going to return to the Broken Muskoka Mobile, I think, this week. Uh, do another video with it and uh, progress that a little bit. Uh, we also have the Alpha to deal with and all that stuff. So thanks, everybody, for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, I got lots of stupid videos just like this one. You'll love them. I promise. I'll put, it, I'll put them up in the corner for you to watch. If you're ordering a new RMK, uh, leave a like on the video. And if you're not, make sure that you leave a subscribe to the channel here. And I'll leave you guys with a fresh womp it. Womp it, guys. We'll see you in the next video real soon. I'm going to try to put this one together. We'll see you in the next one.